All right, guys, so we are standing in a leftover 2022 camper. This is a Montana High Country, uh, the 373RD. I think you guys are going to love it. It'll probably check off a lot of boxes for what you're looking for. Um, storage options, luxury features, all of the works. But as soon as you walk in and you head towards the front of the camper, you are here in the master bedroom. Ginormous king-size mattress. You can lift this up. Place some extra items in there. They actually place uh, folding chairs in here from the dinette space. Windows are on each side. They have roller blackout shades. Completely block out the sun if you want, if you're trying to sleep in. But they also open up so you can get a nice little breeze. Power outlets are on each side. And then you also have raised up shelves. This is something that they uh, uh, included in their 2022 campers and before it was like right here underneath your window, but now they've raised it up so you can keep things nice and neat. You really can, you know, take advantage of the extra space. You don't have to worry about hitting your elbow or head on it or anything like that. All the way at the front, really cool mirror paneled sliding doors for the closet storage. Um, but in here is your gigantic wardrobe, clothes rack, open shelf, and then you are prepped for a washer and dryer unit, which is actually right next to it. I don't know why I thought it was in there. Um, removable shelves, of course your power outlets, but you don't have to use it for the washer and dryer space. You also can have it for um, just extra storage. Another huge window that also opens up. And then you have a built-in dresser, two jumbo size drawers, plus some extra regular size drawers here above. Countertop space for a TV, but you can also hang one up if you would rather do that. AC in the master. Stay nice and cool. As we walk out, you have your uh, really spacious bathroom, double vanity, so you can have a few people getting ready at the same time. No more hogging the sink. Lots of storage here down below. Power outlets, and then not only do you have your two medicine cabinets, but you even have some storage here in the middle, which is pretty cool. Hooks for the towels, porcelain foot flush toilet, and you have a lot of leg space so you're not feeling uh, claustrophobic. And then just behind your door, you have even more cabinets. And I like the uh, door stopper. It actually is a magnet, so your door stays nice and still. Um, doesn't have to swing open all the time, but that is pretty cool. And it hides the cabinet, so it's a nice little surprise. Sit down shower with the clear uh, paneling for your glass doors. Skylight above, as well as your vent fan too. As we walk down the steps, nice iron supportive handrail. You also have a few hooks. And then here above is your control paneling for everything, your convenience center. Um, when it's lit up, that means it's on, which is pretty cool. So, pretty self-explanatory. You run your slides in and out, see how full all of your tanks are. And there's even more storage there above that I cannot reach, but nice to just have the extra space. A, a motion sensor night light for your steps to light up. So if you need to get uh, come into the kitchen for something in, in the middle of the night, you don't have to trip and fall over the steps because you can't see anything. Built-in road vac as well. So this is a built-in vacuum inside your camper. Pretty cool. Turning around to the middle section is your kitchen area. Solid surface countertops, which is stunning. There's even a little bit of sparkle. I don't know if you guys can see it. Pretty cool. Uh, breakfast bar, coffee bar, whatever you want to call it. It's a spot for uh, extra smaller appliances, you know, air fryers, coffee makers, things like that. Storage below and above. You even have a pantry storage space with a motion sensor light. Pretty cool. Stainless steel refrigerator. This thing is massive. Freezer drawer uh, down below. And then you have your freestanding dinette with extended tabletop space, very comfortable and plush uh, seating. Legs of the table are mounted against the wall so your knees will not be hitting it. And our sale price ends up being $79,985 for this leftover 2022. Great big windows, again, roller blackout shades. And then across the way, lots of cabinets here above your uh, countertop space, residential style, stainless steel microwave, three burner stove top, an even bigger oven. 
accent lights underneath your countertop space. Uh, all of the storage down below, more power, 70-30 split stainless steel sink, and then a spray faucet too. I just like the fact that this particular floor plan is just a little bit different from, um, you know, the rear living campers that you normally would see. And as you walk up another set of steps with another handrail, you have your separated living room space. Um, with this half wall right here, you still are a part of all the action, but it still kind of feels separate so you don't have to... Um, be in the way while someone's trying to cook. You can be up here relaxing, but still have a conversation with someone. Theater seats, very comfortable. Your first sleeper sofa that extends out uh, for a spot for your kids, so two people can sleep there, as well as across the way, so you have two of them. Located in slide out, so you have all of this uh, space to put a nice little rug, a placemat for your kids. Um, dog bed, whatever you want. And then across the way is your entertainment center. 30 inch all electric fireplace, lots of storage on either side, tinted glass, which has your uh, speaker system behind. So you can turn your remote um, through the glass, be able to turn the TV on or, you know, change the zones, all of that fun stuff. Another TV and even more storage. Here is your additional AC. And you even have a ceiling fan. As we walk outside, another really cool thing about this unit is you have this basement storage. So I can't get to you all the way in the back, but you have uh, an entrance here on your camping side as well as your non-camping side, even all the way at the back. Motion sensor lights, a huge utility drawer that you can put heavier items on that you don't have to crawl in here and worry about retrieving. You can just use the drawer to uh, pull it out. But you have all of this space right here to put extra belongings. And then you have your campsite slide out, power awning, solid steps. This is a four season living camper and then you also have a solar panel on it. Friction hinge door, more storage and power. Here in front, you have a spot for a TV, two 30 pound propane tanks, and then of course a spot for your battery. So if you have any additional questions about this unit, uh, feel free to reach out.